Hey everyone, welcome to a new live stream here on the Morning Fame channel. Actually, I have to say, it's kind of for me a little bit of a celebration because now, yesterday I just finished 28 days of 28 new features for the keyword tool. It was like <laughs> so much work, I can't tell you. I'm really happy that I am going into slower mode now uh, a little bit. Uh, but of course the tool will continue to evolve. Uh, I just have to go to things about uh, under the hood, uh, things uh, need to be done there as well. And yeah, uh, so to say today is a little bit of a celebration for the keyword tool now being, uh, you can say, a lot better than four weeks before. So hi everyone. Uh, welcome. Uh, I already saw you all uh, did uh, yeah, talked quite a lot already. Uh, very nice to see you all. Hi Rodney, how are you doing? Thanks for your video recently again. Uh, really a great one. He showed off the keyword tool and I mean sometimes you know uh, Rodney did really a job of explaining it that astonished myself. I mean yeah uh, I couldn't have told it better. Um, yeah, uh, that T-Cat, uh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, by the way, um, uh, he did a game, a interactive end screen game. Feel free to post it here. By the way, I will unblock your, po uh, your chat post. Um, uh, a really fun thing to do, by the way. Uh, so, so kind of you go through rooms and uh, with, with end screen tiles. Uh, quite unique idea to do that. Um, yeah, hi Nico, how are you doing? Um, my same name, pal. <laughs> uh, Rakim, how are you doing? Uh, Visai Palai Guy, as, as I said before, maybe it's your lucky day today um, to, to get a review from me. That's the main purpose of today's uh, stream, by the way, uh, to review your video metadata and to see what we can do in order to maybe even improve it a little bit more. And uh, yeah, in between, I of course, uh, am happy to answer your questions about everything YouTube growth related. Uh, hi, Harley, how are you doing? Uh, by the way, a uh, big thumbs up for you and all the support of the other people in the Morning Fame Early Access Group. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's invaluable, all the feedback you gave me. Um, about how you use Morning Fame uh, and and what you still need, what what is uh, like stumbling blocks to uh, yeah better work with the tool. Um, based on that, many of those features I recently implemented in this last uh, four weeks, one feature a day. Uh, I didn't even think about uh, those features. So um, yeah, big thumbs up for all your support. Um, by the way, not everyone knows about the uh, Morning Fame Early Access group on Facebook. Um, this is a specific group only for the Early Access members because we are discussing uh, Early Access features like the keyboard tool currently over there. Um, but yeah, if you are an Early Access member, uh, feel free to join. It's really fun over there. Uh, and I'm happy to answer all detailed questions. This is, by the way, for me, also uh, a, a great way to interact with you uh, in a more public way. Um, I mean, I uh, talk to all you guys all the time. I mean, this is the secret source of making the tool so great. Really, I, I can only say that. Um, uh, actually, um, not, not everyone of you knows that I'm already working on Morning Fame for three and a half years already, since the first yeah, day I came, this idea came to my mind. And um, the first one and a half years, Morning Fame was still a different tool. And I had to throw it completely away just because I didn't listen to potential users. I built something that no one needed, no one wanted to use, which sounded good on the surface, but when they started using the tool, um, there was no usefulness to it. So one and a half years later, I started from scratch. The morning fame you now know today, which took me now two years to build up to today. And um, I started talking to YouTubers right in the beginning. Uh, in this case, really, it was one week 
of drafting a prototype and then I started to talk to the first two dozen YouTubers. And this is really the secret sauce. So um, if you ever think you're taking up my time too much with asking me questions and all that, um, no worry about that at all because that's really how I find out what the tool needs to do in order to help you. So really, that's a great thing. Morning Fame Early Access uh, Facebook group is one great place um, to talk there via email, via Twitter, uh, and on, of course on the YouTube channel. Feel free to ask more in detailed questions in the comments as well. Um, I read and answer all of them. Uh, all right. Um, hi, Sadius Tech. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, quite a few people uh, found it through Roberto. I really uh, appreciate his support. I was um, yeah uh, surprised by uh, him mentioning the tool as well, and uh, super great. Uh, yeah, I mean, I couldn't have asked for more. It's uh, so great recently that um, yeah, you know, Morning Fame is not not very well known. Um, we are currently. At, at a total of uh, 1,700 users, that's the total. Um, so as you can imagine, um, uh, that's, that's nothing compared to, for example, TubeBuddy, who are, as far as I know, in the millions, in the millions. Uh, anyway, uh, hi Andreas, uh, net dich hier wieder zu sehen. Um, übrigens, uh, ich melde mich mal in Kürze bei dir. Anyway, um, all right. Yeah, my, my uh, pleasure, clear views. Welcome to the channel, by the way. I see you here the uh, first time. Um, an overview of those new features, Disky, um, uh, is actually, uh, I, I post a weekly, uh, I will post later today a summary of all the features on the Morning Fame Early Access group. So just search on Facebook, Morning Fame Early Access. That's the name of the group. and. Feel free to join and then you can see my post. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's a ton of little features throughout the whole tool. Uh, all right. Um, hi, Off-Grid SE, uh, also called Andreas. Um, yeah, uh, welcome. And by the way, great video you did last uh, time. Um, I'm so happy to hear, by the way, all those success stories. I really wanted to cover more success stories on, on my channel again. Uh, unfortunately, it's often the case that I just don't have the time to do that. Not that those videos take more time to do, but uh, I have to plan up front because I have to send it to the person uh, after it's finished uh, first to, to, uh, for, for that person I cover to review the video that I don't tell anything that the channel owner doesn't want to um, the world to know. So um, yeah, in this case, I have to plan ahead. And yeah, the days are crazy, crazy uh, with all the features I recently implemented and then all the new buzz coming from Nick Nimmin, by the way. High five to everyone who joined uh, because of Nick Nimmin's video uh, he recently did. Uh, I'm so happy about all the new users coming by. Uh, yeah, for me, it's just a bliss to see all uh, you guys uh, coming over. Hi, Andros, how are you doing? Um, all right, um, again, today I will review uh, your video's metadata and I will um, draw a random number for everyone who wants to get a review and then some one gets the lucky number and gets uh, the review. So, um, uh, Usner doc, yeah, perfect, uh, awesome. Uh, by the way, I think, oh, yeah, I already responded to your uh, YouTube comments. Uh, thanks for uh, the feedback, by the way. Um, all right, um, I try to get in as many reviews as I can, so let's get started right away. Um, please type into the chat "Morning Fame Review" so I can know that you want a review, and I draw a random number to um, pick from. All right, 
let's see what what the stream uh, you should see um, my request if you want to morning ah here it's coming in uh, the lag is a little bit a few seconds but not too much all right okay looks good looks good <laughs> uh, let's draw a random number from 1 to 25 i would say then 14 is the last one the app had so draw let's draw a new one 11 okay hi jay how are you doing thanks for all your support by the way um 11 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 susan Kin Singari, S Singari. Um, I hope I pronounce it correctly. You are the lucky one. Let's copy your channel link and into the tool. Let's see what we have there. All right. Uh, of course, use Nadoc. Uh, um, it's it's important to pe to reply to everyone because I learn so much all the time from. Uh, talking to you because you know um, one thing is to to implement those features that are clear that other tools may might be having for example or uh, that are obvious to to provide um, but uh, often there are things you as youtubers wonder about I mean I wonder about that too as a youtuber now as well um, that is not really solved, you know, and I, I try to uncover those opportunities where a tool could help where no other tool, for example, did uh, help before. So um, with talking to you, even though it's about your channel and all that stuff, um, which is not directly tied to yeah, me implementing something into the tool, I learn, I understand your issues, your worries, problems, how to proceed in growing your channels that in the long run um, yeah, um, come together to feature ideas where the tool can help. So yeah, my pleasure. Uh, all right, Susan Kingari, let's, let's have a look at your channel. By the way, uh, feel free to um, uh, ask me questions while I'm talking. Uh, uh, if you have one, uh, uh, write um, at morning fame into the chat so I can more easily um, see your uh, questions and can respond to them. Um, all right, uh, Susan, uh, what, what is your channel about? Let's see if I can uh, see from the thumbnails. Sports, it seem. seems every fighter yeah boxing in particular right um like covering stories about those uh, people ah i see you here in the middle meeting two boxers i guess right uh very interesting okay cool channel um let's let's have a look at your videos um here we have your latest one three days ago in sports yeah perfect um you are a smaller channel perfect i'm all about small youtubers i'm studying them uh yeah the most absolutely um mixed martial arts i see perfect here we have one a muscle lovema is that yeah it seems one boxer you're covering yeah it's the same game guy it, it looks like um mma again Susan Kangiri, you have the tag of your channel all the time. That's a good idea to have. And here we have some other deep inside the, the mind of a fighter covering another boxer. Interesting, like mini documentaries sometimes. Okay, I'm um, Jared Flash Gordon. Okay, uh, I'm mixing that up with a basketball player maybe, right? Gordon is probably a more common. Um... All right, um, let's let's look at that video, uh, for example. Um, uh, uh, the title of your video has um, it's already t ranking for a few tags, and I can say uh, Jared Gordon is probably quite competitive already. So you're doing a, a good job at that. 
the titles the ultimate cheat sheet on ufc fighter jet jared flash gordon what, what is the target keyword you uh, yeah targeted for for that video i wonder the ultimate cheat sheet uh, maybe um, let's see if that is um, the ultimate cheat sheet the practical guide for dentists all right that's not about boxing but i guess boxers need a good dentist as well um, i'm wondering ultimate cheat sheet uh, by the way here i just opened your the the keyboard tool for your channel um, 5000 subscribers very nice ultimate cheat sheet i would say for dentists again <laughs> What is this? That that's so interesting. Uh, how? Why do dentists need a dental Facebook ad cheat sheet? Patients, ah, yeah, marketing for dentists. <laughs> interesting. Anyway, that's not related to uh, to um, fighting. I would say a cheat sheet is anyway something all the different niches i mean everywhere whatever you do you need cheat sheets right i have a cheat sheet for my uh live stream even so i don't forget in everything i need to prepare for that like having a glass of water mm. so that is actually a not not really a, um, um, a target keyword that would work for that video let's see you have use on UFC fighter Jared Flash Gordon. That is more related to the actual topic and more, um, I mean, something people would use uh, in search, right? It's all about thinking about what, what people would use in search. Okay. Um, thanks, Jay, yeah, uh, for your comment. That's, that's a good point. UFC makes more sense. UFC fighter Jared Flash Gordon fighter is this fighter I should spell it correctly fighter Jared ah that's that's not a search term unfortunately um, but UFC f UFC fighter itself let's look at that I mean that's um, the tool says it's not a common search term, but it's also a term that is, yeah, it could, it, it's on the edge. I mean, uh, what, what I'm doing here, right? It's, I'm looking at the search bar suggestions and the search bar suggestions, um, they try to find out what you uh, intend to enter into the search bar so what what do they how do they do that they actually um uh, look at all the search terms people are using on morning uh, sorry youtube and with that they uh, can find out which are the common search terms and that they are using to predict what you aim to type in to the search bar so that is what what we need to use in order to find out if uh, that is a search term people are using that's that's really our best best friends here to find that best friend here to find it out and UFC fighter um, I mean it's just a few words so it's hard to tell how common this uh, um, search term is but would be already something uh, worth a shot um, and considering uh, the competition score it's kind of tough to f uh, rank for that let's see your if you are even ranking here Let's see, I, I would say it's very competitive, so it's unlikely that you actually make it into the top 20. No, it's not actually the case. I mean, you are good with the subscribers, but your views in general are way too low. I mean, um, the average view count on these videos in the top 20 are half a million and your own your own view count is 135. So there, there's just too much of a big difference. Um, this is too competitive for you. Um, 
And unfortunately, if we look here at um, your title and the tags, um, there's not really a target keyword for you that, that re would really work. Um, I mean, Jared, Gore, Don, MMA, that would be something, for example. Let's see. Oh, that, that looks, that's looking much better, by the way. Um, Jared Gordon, MMA, I, I, I would say Jared Gordon itself. Is it Gordon, by the way? Gordon, yeah, exactly. That's him. And Jared Gordon. Um, oh, that looks good. It's not too competitive. And here it's already, because Jared Gordon itself is a name, I probably uh, assume it, there will be other people naming the same in other kinds of sports with the same name. It's a more common name, but still interesting. Uh, Jared Gordon, all MMA. So he's pretty much dominating. Uh, his name is unique enough. So if you type in Jaron Gordon without MMA in the search term, then um, then uh, uh, you get um, already on topic search results. And as you can see, it's not too competitive for you. Jared Gordon, let's choose that as the target keyword. Uh, again, it doesn't say that it is a common keyword here, a common search term that people use, but I designed it uh, by design only as a gray check, a gray cross and not as a red cross, because especially for short search terms, uh, there are so many so short search terms that the keyword suggestions don't really sh um, can show all of them because it's only showing 10, right? Mm. I would say since we started typing Jared G, that's what the tool is typing. Uh, it's not really showing the search term, but G O R, it's already showing it up. So I would say, yeah, perfect. That's a search term that is commonly used. We can go ahead and let's choose that as a target keyword for your video. And let's see, uh, you have Jared Gordon in your title. So that's perfect. Um, uh, let's let's take your metadata and copy it over to see how how well optimized your metadata is. Um, let me quickly copy that over and finally the tags. All right. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, as you can see here. For the target keyword, Jared Gordon, uh, you have only a 27% relevancy. Um, this is, yeah, uh, we can optimize it here, of course. Um, I mean, targeting Jared Gordon would be a better idea if you t would target Jared Flash Gordon. That was what's what I was just thinking. Uh, maybe that is may better than for your relevancy then i mean it's it's kind of unfair that i use your existing metadata for a target keyword that i just uh, uh, decided you should target but you in intended to target something different right so it's uh, not really um uh, then there's a mismatch right um so obviously you get a lower rate here tar uh, jared flash gordon would work for you as well um, let's maybe, let's keep at Jared Flash, uh, Jared Gordon, Gordon only for, for time's sake. Um, all right. Um, of course, uh, if, uh, for the title, it's better to have the target keyword in the beginning. So Jared Gordon, yeah, if you, if you do it like this. Did I misspell it? Gordon? Yeah, perfect. Now the title goes up quite a lot. Um, this is this is always important. Um, YouTube tends to favor the words in the beginning of the uh, title over the words in the end of the title. You should start, uh, start off with uh, the, the target keyword you have. So like I did here, and now we have to make more sense of it. 
Um, you could, of course, uh, do Jared Flash Gordon if you would target uh, Jared Flash Gordon. But in this case, it, the relevancy goes down. It depends on what you decide to target. Let's go for Jared Gordon here. Um, you could on this Jared Gordon the ultimate cheat sheet on this US UFC fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, we uh, saw before, that's quite interesting. Uh, we UFC fight, yeah, that's also a search term. Yeah, UFC fighter. We have a lot of search terms here. Um, so UFC fight is more common, certainly, because it shows up first in the search bar suggestions. But we know that UFC fighter is something people search as well. So it's a good idea to have that in the title as well. Just to, you know, people are not only searching the search term you are targeting. They are searching different search terms as well. And you would like to spread as much as you can. Not with uh, abandoning uh, the relevancy for your main target keyword because you want to bet on this target keyword as much as you can but uh, sneaking in a little bit more um, uh, search terms that you know other people use around the same topic area you're targeting with your video that's a good idea so UFC fighter you have it in there as well plus I like your idea to um, have the ultimate cheat sheet in, in that uh, because um, this is intriguing, right? I mean, ultimate cheat sheet, that's, I have to click that because um, who knows um, what nice things are in there. Mm. So here we have a very high percentage, very good, perfect. Uh, then um, of course the same we, um, Uh, we we um, have the description here. It's a good idea to start off with um, uh, the target keyboard as well. Um, here, maybe uh, this part, I would move further down. I mean, it's, it's, it's written in a way that uh, this sentence is before the other one. Um, this time she's taking the Uf UFC fighter Jared Gordon um depends on uh, the other sentence being first we we would need to rephrase that in order to make sense again but uh in this case maybe it's a good idea to do that first um of course i would need to rephrase that but let's leave it as that we uh, could do that easily right um i'm not sure whether the hashtags actually work here uh, i don't have any knowledge about that actually um, so I, but I'm I'm uh, hesitant here to use them. Uh, better you you're using Jared Gordon as a regular sentence here. Uh, I don't know whether YouTube actually directly supports hashtags. Of course, what works on YouTube, no question, is that um, if people directly search that hashtag. Hashtag Jared Jordan. Then, of course, YouTube will um, show results where this hashtag comes by. Uh, here, maybe you're, yeah, you're first here. Perfect. But I would say maybe this is not even something people commonly use uh, as a search term. So um, I'm not sure whether that helps. It's hashtags are natively supported on Twitter, but I'm not sure actually, I never heard about that on YouTube. So as you can see here, I used Jared Jordan as a regular name and the description percentage went up. You're already at a 67%. That's still an F because the average on the search results for Jer Jared Jordan are um, quite high. So you have to set, set yourself apart from this average and it's only by four percent yet so it's still an f for that reason 
yeah, and then finally we need to optimize the tags. But uh, yeah, I want to have more reviews done in this stream, so I uh, cut that short. The idea is, of course, to use the suggested um, tags here. Now we are at a 96%, which is basically maxing the whole thing out. It's still just a C because the average is so high. You can't get an A here. Um, it's, it's just that the other videos are highly relevant for that topic as well. So um, yeah, you don't have much of a chance to um, yeah, set yourself apart. But with these metadata, I have to remove a few ones because I'm over the 500 character limit now. But with that, uh, you're quite relevant now. All right, Susan, I hope that helped you. All right. Uh, yeah, um, I will just, hi Shelly, how are you doing? Um, move forward with the next uh, review. Um, let's, yeah, uh, everyone who wants one, type in morning fame review now and I will draw another random number. But in the meantime, I will answer one question. Um, so let's see, what, what do we have here? I'm in a saturated niche. Uh, Selena Place says, um, and just a brand new channel. I'm struggling with keyword titles to break the sea of other videos. Yeah, perfect question. Perfect question. Um, it is, you know, if you look at that, um, uh, if you look at those grades here, yeah. I mean, we have an example here now, Jared Flash Gordon, which one UFC fighter. Let's take this one. This is more competitive. Um, it's quite common for small channels to, um, to, have, uh, to, to have bad grades in the beginning. I mean, it's, it, that's just the reality. Um, the, the, the tool reflects here how competitive the niche is. And um, so if you have 100 subscribers, e you easily uh, just find all the common search terms you, you can think of are just Fs all over the place. Relevancy is a difference because there often you have a lot of opportunity to make metadata that's highly relevant for the target search term. Uh, but uh, for subscribers, views, likes and comments, you usually get Fs all over the place and that's just reflecting the competi competition you have in your niche. So a really common mistake I did myself actually before I created this tool when I did keyword research still manually is to target search terms that are too competitive and that's just a lost chance, right? Um, you won't rank so this video don't doesn't get really search traffic and lost chance. Um, the only way to get your foot in the door is actually be creative and find keywords that are more uncommon and that um, are, um, yeah, the big channels don't use. Um, they don't take the time to find those. It is quite tough to find those uh, search terms sometimes, especially if you are in a highly competitive niche. But um, I um, actually did a video on my channel. Uh, let me quickly uh, open the, my channel here, where I go into detail exactly explaining uh, how you can use the Morning Fame tool to find better keywords. Um, just, just quick here. Um, yeah, here, here we go. Um, here, that's the video. Find low competition keywords. This is exactly my video as a response because many people asked me this very same question already. How can I find low competi competitive uh, keywords uh, even because I'm a small channel and the niche is very competitive at the same time? The trick, by the way, is just to give you a short idea, is to uh, use the suggestions plus here, along with going back 
to step two. Uh, step two is a way to find more keywords. And especially the uncommon keywords tend to have tend to be keywords that have low competition. So you can go back here, get inspired. Let's take this one, for example. And in this case, not always does it have low competition, but you're inspired to search a different search term. And then based on that, you can again look at the um, suggestions plus and then slowly work your way towards more or less competitive keywords. So I hope that helps. All right, let's get going with the next review. Uh, we have about, yeah, 25. Let's draw another random number. 11 was the last one and here we go, 18. Let's see. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, what was it? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Super user, it's your turn. Copy link. Let me uh, open you up in the review tool. All right. Uh, there was a question in between. Hey, Nico, can't stay? Just want to. <laughs> uh, yeah, my pleasure, Skeletorus. If you are not already gone, have a good day. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Any uh, use now, doc? Any advice for those of us with no niche? Uh, actually find one. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, uh, it really, you know, uh, the point is, um, the tie is actually into, into, um, uh, what, what I just said, the issue of small channels, finding keywords where they can rank in search. You have to understand, um, there, there are not many choices you have to grow a channel. Um, either you have already a big channel and you get all the the people going over to your new channel, which big channels can do who branch off with a second channel, or you have social media or outreach already on Twitter, Facebook, something where you can draw a big audience. But if you are starting a new channel without having an audience somewhere, you have to build your new audience. And the issue is like, there is practically no niche in which the uh, competition is f not fierce. So if you are not niching down with your channel, you have such a broad audience you need to target and comp competition in each of those niches, right? And if you really want to get your foot in the door, um, you have to put all your bets onto one niche, onto one audience to grow that initially. It's hard to focus and get the foot in the door in a single niche even. So spreading it out into multiple niches right at the beginning is even more impossible, so to say. And so uh, try to find a niche, niche down on, onto very particular topics, then you can focus on those and put all your bets onto search terms in that particular niche. Because search is really the, the um, engine starter here. Yeah, the, um, uh, because um, all the other promotion techniques uh, YouTube has to offer you, uh, like suggested videos, the home feeds and so on, 
they are not available to you yet because you're too small to actually make it big into all the other algorithm parts. Search is really a thing where even small channels get, can get a foot in the door and build the channel authority. So it's really important to um, find your niche in the beginning mm. so you know where you can place your bets. Um, I hope that makes sense. I mean, yeah, there are many other things you might try to do, but I can't really think about an alternative. All right, let's uh, move forward um, for super user tech mods. Um, yeah, uh, I really like that you added tech mods to your channel name, by the way, um, because that's actually what you do. Um, here, let's let's give everyone else a little bit of an overview. Here you go, a Android, Windows, app installation, like little remote for Amazon, um, yeah, TV, um, and so on. So yeah very clear and that's also in the uh in your um name channel name now i really like it and oh by the way um you are a yeah a thousand five hundred subscribers very nice uh, and you successfully rank for many search terms quite impressive i can already see that you are using keyword research to your best advantage mm. What what is uh, catches my eyes? Um, I immediately, of course, is that you are using long tail keywords. Um, even or oh, interesting, you have a two word keyword where you already rank out. Oh, it's it's hidden fourteenth place on on the search ranking. So perfect. Uh, so you're doing already a great job, and even not only the tags you used, uh, you're ranking on many other search terms as well. Uh, Morning Fame even found one where your rank. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Let's 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 already do uh, use this as an example. Um, let's see. We have this here. Okay, I just have to close these um, tabs. Um, how to block ads on Android with free ad blocker browser? Oh yeah, that's that's a good idea to do. Um, I see the need for that. Um, Let's see, how is this that already a search term you were using? How to block, how, how was it? Uh, how to block ads on Android, on Android. Oh, interesting. How to block ads on Android is already a search term many people use. But yeah, as I guessed, it's already, it's, it's really competitive. Uh, sorry. Um, but interesting, I mean, if you grow a little bit more, it's not too far away anymore. So maybe in half a year, you are even able to rank for this search term. Um, but you're going further with free ad blogger browser. Browser. Let's see what it, what comes here. With free, huh? Um, is this free? That's too bad, actually. Um, it's not really suggested, this this search term. Um, so let's see your blog ads on. Uh, you're using this as a search, uh, as a tag. So obviously you were aware of this search term being used, and you're successfully ranking for those. Let's see how that looks. Uh, blog ads on. Uh, doesn't look good here, but although it's very, um, uh, you see, you're ranking here, uh, browser, uh, you're ranking here first, right? And uh, obviously, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, um, yeah, uh, that that's that's um, quite quite clear because you get good grades here, so you had really a high chance to rank for this one. D, 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 A, that's just perfect. Um, as, is, as I always say, uh, having at least Ds for the first three, uh, three ones as uh, grades is perfect. And uh, A for relevancy on top um, really gets your foot in the door. Um, 
So yeah, you, you're here the first one and even the gateway video. Um, that, that's actually a special case, you know. The point here is that this is not really a search term people are using. So um, it's quite common that a search term that is not used by people, that it's also not very competitive uh, because um, um, it makes not much sense uh, to rank high in a search term not many people are you, uh, searching because then you won't get views as a result. So um, this is nice to rank high, but in the end, yeah, I mean, ah, okay, I see you were sponsored. Hey, thumbs up for getting a sponsoring here. That, that's so cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so in that case, uh, rather focus, try to focus on um, search terms that people are actually using. Uh, and by the way, you, you can see here, you still have competition here. That's quite interesting. Um, in this case, if you're having the gateway video very high, it is likely that the reason is that those videos that rank below you, look, look at that. You have a video here that has half a million views. Why isn't that ranking higher than you are? The reason is that these videos go off topic. You know, YouTube is like this. It searches, if, if a user enters that as a search term, then of course it first looks at videos that are exactly on that topic. And since you have that as your search term here, uh, sorry, in your title directly, YouTube says, yeah, that's highly relevant. Of course, I'm showing that. Yeah, because it doesn't have any other videos that are highly re relevant for this search terms. And then as a second step, now you are basically the only video YouTube has for that search term. And then it says like, yeah, I, sh I should show more search terms, uh, search results, right? I mean, just showing one video in the search results would be too bad. I try to find more videos that I can show to the user. So then at, as a next step, it goes into the archive of all videos that are not really a about the same topic, but more close, still closely, re uh, loosely related to this topic. So it has a video block ads in all Android apps. Yeah, I mean, it's also an app blocker, uh, but it's not exactly about this um, search term anymore. Uh, so it ranks second here. If you would try to rank for block ads in all Android apps like this search term. Yeah, let's look that up. I bet this video shows up in f uh, at first here right away then uh, you are uh, your your move you don't rank first anymore because then now of, of course i mean this this has so much is a big channel 200,000 subscribers many views this one has m a lot of ranking power here all right but interestingly uh, just as a coincidence we have a search term here that is commonly used yeah green check common search term and you have good grades. I mean, that, that's a lucky, lucky hit here. And that, that is so great. You can see here the gateway video is further down. This one is a very small one. Even here, YouTube doesn't have many videos about that topic. So uh, it's quite at place uh, step six. It's already showing up um, a very small channel with a small video, nine subscribers, 77 views. So this is a lot of opportunity to rank here. I mean, in the top five videos, it's, it's quite possible. Let's, let's see here. You know what? Maybe, how old is this video? Mm, yeah, your video is only a few days old. It's, it's not really a good idea to change your metadata right now. Um, but this would have been a really great opportunity for you. I mean, Assuming that your ad blocker you're talking about here uh, is actually working in all Android apps. 
I'm not sure about that's the case because of course, if a user searches for blog ads in all Android apps, this user wants of course a video that actually talks about an ad blocker that works in all Android apps. If you don't talk about that, right? Uh, in um, just an ad blocker for a certain browser, for example, then of course they will be um, um, uh, unhappy about the video and YouTube will pick it up and then the uh, rank will go down again. But if that's the case, that's a unique opportunity here. Uh, so I would actually target this target search term for you for this video here. And um, yeah, with that, uh, optimize the relevancy. Ah, okay, I see, super user. Uh, unfortunately, it, it only blocks it in, in that particular browser, so it wouldn't, wouldn't fit here. Uh, this is actually something uh, you have to be very careful uh, in what target keyword you target for your videos because it creates expectations, you know? If I'm typing in block ads in all Android browsers, then of course, um, by the way, super user, which browser does it block? L let me know. Uh, where does it plug in uh, this tool work? Or is it a, a, um, a separate uh, app that is a browser in, in itself? Anyway, if the user searches in all Android apps, yeah, of course, they expect a video about that topic. But if, if it says in uh, cr block ads in Chrome for Android, then they expect Chrome, a Chrome extension for Android, which blocks ad, you know? Uh, sometimes this, uh, the search terms you target are quite similar sounding, but they create different expectations. And the point here is, yeah, depending on what target keyword you um, uh, choose, which then different people come to your video with different expectations. And if the expectation and what your video delivers doesn't match then you will get low watch times. And with low watch times, um, YouTube will pick that up. You might initially rank very high for that search term, but YouTube picks that up that people are uh, not impressed by your video because it doesn't match the, their expectations. And then your video will lose in ranks. You know, we'll go down, down, down. And after a few, a few, day, it does, few days, it doesn't rank at, at all anymore. Yeah, so make sure not only to uh, find a keyword that is a low of competition uh, that you can actually rank, but also make sure that the expectation you, you create is actually delivered in the video. So you have the ability to keep your rank you initially achieve and hopefully even increase it over time, the more happy the people are with your video. Mm. Um. Uh, all right, uh, ingenious, uh, good question. What happens after you change the metadata? A few days happens. Uh, yeah, uh, changing metadata, you have to be really careful about that. Um, because what happens there is that, um, you know, le uh, let me back up a little bit. Metadata, the purpose of meta metadata is to tell YouTube what is your video about? What is the topic of your video? And um, you do that with your title, your description, your tags, as well as, by the way, the closed captions and even the comments you get in the video, below the video. But anyway, uh, all that helps YouTube understand what the topic is about of your video. And w w what is YouTube doing with this understanding? On the one side, it has the understanding for the topic of your video. And on the other side, it has the interests of the viewers on the platform. So it matches up the topic with the interest of the viewers. And yeah, if, if it has a match, then it will show your video to those people who have the interest that matches the topic of the video. In particular, that it's the case if you talk about suggested videos and the home screen their topic and interests are meshed, matched up. So it's really important to think about that uh, when you're uh, targeting your video, when you're uh, yeah, even creating your video to begin with. And um, if the same is the case, of course, it's, it's not so much about interest, but also uh, more about the search term in search, 
which is matched up with the topic of the video. And if you change your metadata a few days after you uploaded it, or any time uh, to be precise, uh, YouTube knows, okay, you changed something. Maybe the video was about a different topic than I originally, th originally thought. You know, it has had an understanding about that before you changed it. So it's re-triggering the algorithm, telling you're telling the YouTube, uh, wait a minute, the video is about a different topic. So what YouTube needs to do again here is to test out the, its understanding of the video topic. Because basically what YouTube is doing here, it doesn't really trust you. I mean, if it would trust you with all the metadata you give it, like, like blindly say like, okay, you say it's about this topic A, then it's about this topic A and I give it to users who are interested in topic A. Um, but then the, you have all the people who are gaming the algorithm and telling it something different. Yeah, and that's the bad idea because if YouTube would just blindly show your video to viewers who are interested in, to in topic A, you tell YouTube it, uh, the video is about topic A, and it's act um, in actuality your video is about topic B, yeah, then it's starting to show the video to the wrong people. And the viewers are king, right? If the viewers are unhappy, they will leave YouTube and YouTube will have no viewers anymore in the long run. So it can't trust you with your information about what the video is about. So what it has to do is, it says like, okay, you are telling me it's about this topic. Let me ask, let me see if the viewers agree. Agree, and that is the point. YouTube is looking at the viewers. Do they actually enjoy the video? You said it's topic A. A, I give it to people interested in that topic. Are they having long watch times, all that stuff? If that's the case, then your video will rank higher, will get promoted in suggested videos, show up in the home screen, all the good things of the YouTube promotion you, you can achieve, right? But if it's not the case, then it will, uh, if, if viewers are not um, happy about the video because you told it to be a wrong topic, then it goes down in rank. And what you do now when you change the metadata, everything that YouTube basically learned about your video, it's about topic A and I have proof that people interested in topic A are excited about this video. This, what YouTube learned there, is basically gone. I mean, I'm exaggerating that. I can't really say how much of this knowledge YouTube has there is actually gone. If it's all gone or a little bit gone, I can't tell you. But basically you risk of YouTube losing the information about what is your video about and who actually enjoys this video about that topic. So be careful to change your metadata because you reset that knowledge and then YouTube has to test again with the potential viewers who are interested in your video. And maybe you do something wrong and um, P uh, YouTube isn't able to get um, the same trust in your video that this is really a video about this topic and people are enjoying it again and you can yeah, put your success you originally had in jeopardy. So my recommendation would be really think about that beforehand before you publish your video and don't change the metadata while the video is still uh, growing in views. Yeah, After a few weeks, if it's stagnating, if it's not doing it again anymore, then you might change it because uh, you can revive your video with that. But um, don't do it while the video is successful. I mean, you're right. It could be that if you change the metadata, it would uh, um, be even more successful because of that. But there is a big risk to this. So be careful about it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I hope I didn't <laughs> digress too, too much about that. Um,
Uh, nice super user. You did that before for some old video? Yeah. If the video was successfully in the, be in the beginning and it uh, stagnated after some time, like a month or a few months, uh, feel free to optimize it again because you can really revive it. I can't really tell uh, which videos um, really will make it successful, but if the video was stagnating anyway uh, in old video, then you basically have nothing to lose, right? So uh, re-optimize the videos again, and uh, the more you do, um, uh, some of them will pick up and uh, you will be able to revive them. I had many people uh, telling me uh, how successful that was already. All right, um, I would say super user, um, I was a little bit cut off in your review, but uh, you really much get the whole optimization process. I can clearly see that in your metadata. Uh, uh, my tip, actually what I explained to you when I showed your uh, screen uh, was, um, uh, yeah, think about the target keyword you should target in the beginning. Make sure it's a commonly used search term and um, yeah, um, basis of base it off of that. Um, the rest optimization looks really good to me. All right, let's move over. Uh, hi, clear views. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cool, Germany. Um, let's uh, do the next review. Please type in morning fame review now. I will draw another uh, number. And I have to speed up this a little bit. Hi, Claudia. Gruß nach Deutschland. Um, Claudia, you're the first one to be in this drawing. Let me uh, choose 18 was the last number. And 18 again. <laughs> what, what, what a coincidence. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, shiny creation uh, is, yeah, it's, it's you. Awesome. You are the lucky one. Let's go ahead here. Uh, Jay, I'm sorry, uh, you can't pay for a review. <laughs> uh, but thanks for your support with Morning Fame. Yeah, um, I have, I, I want to uh, keep that fair here. I'm sorry, that's, that's, um, yeah, that I don't, ca ca can't review everyone. Okay, let's, let's get started with uh, Shiny Creations. Here we go, 93 subscribers. Uh, keep it up. Shortly you will have your 100. That's an important mark. Uh, let's see, what, what are you doing? DIY. Mm, I'm getting hungry. Nice, nice, nice. French fries as a DIY. Uh, neat, neat. Fevereiro Rocher. Oh, I like that one. You have really nice thumbnails, by the way. Um, I really like it. Even even the border here with the uh, striped and dotted and all that. It's really DIY. Uh, nice, very nice. Okay, let's look at your latest video. Um, all right, that looks good. Let's see. You're doing a decent job here. Ah, Ferrero. I'm such a fan of Ferrero. So let's let's go with that. Um, all right, how to gift Ferrero or Rache? Um, I hope you get uh, promotions or uh, brand deals uh, with that. Uh, I mean, for Christmas, that would be really uh, a good thing for, for the brands to do. Promote it, to promote it this way. Uh, all right, uh, let's open in the keyboard tool. Uh, just uh, how to gift Ferrero or uh, That sounds to me like a search term people are using. How to gift justice how to okay i'm missing the two 
Wäre. Ah, huh. that's weird. It's it's not not used. I would have. Do I mistype it? Doppel, double R. Hmm. Ah, too bad, too bad. As you know, um, this is this is really a common mistake at this point. I mean, uh, uh, just to be fair, I don't know which uh, target keyword you intended to target here. Uh, best out of waste gift ideas with wedding cards. Best out of waste. Let's see. Best out of waste. Interesting. Best out of waste gift ideas. Oh, that's 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 a target keyword. But it's quite competitive, as you can see. This is this is a search term people commonly use. But of course, it's really competitive for your small channel. Certainly, uh, something uh, you can't target yet. Um, yeah, same thing as as we had before. Um, it's it's really tough for a small channel to find good keywords yet. Um, this one is certainly of a competition where you have the chance to rank. Let's see if you actually ch rank here. You have an E there, so the risk is you are not here. Chances make it much lower. Um, doesn't look like this, ah, unfortunately. But but you know, this, this would have been already worth a shot. But the bad thing is that that's not really a search term people are using. I'm sorry. Let's let's uh, see uh, if Google Trends has something here to say. Um, uh, unfortunately, not even as well. No data here. Um, but you know. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah, yeah. It that's a common it's a common thing. Um, to find those keywords that have the competition you can actually rank for and at the same time are used by many people. It's a common search term. If you have one of both, you basically lost. You, you need both. So it's very challenging. Again, as I said before, I have a video, the video I did last week on my channel to uh, give tips how to find those keywords. But let's move forward here. Uh, let's uh, let's look at your metadata. Just uh, assuming that how to fit, uh, how to gift Ferrero Rocher was a search term that is commonly used, um, because it looks really good. Besides that, you're doing a really good job here. Look at that. You already have a really good title, which fits this target keyword. You have it fully in here and something intriguing or more explanatory at the end. So this one is um, a really good title. And yeah, let's see how the descri perfect description. Um, I mean, uh, oh, oh, oh. It's, it's not too bad, but be careful. Well, what you have here is your uh, cramming keywords in here and if you do it too much i mean you're still on the safe side i would say we can't really say where the limit is yeah but if you do it too much like paste all your tags for example in the description um youtube will see that and um and and then it will act based on that um i heard that uh, people uh, that videos stop ranking and all that because YouTube, you know, YouTube has to be careful about people misusing black hats, SEO techniques, uh, tricks that manipulate the algorithm in some way. And uh, for that reason, it, it really has like penalties built into uh, the algorithms. 
And um, one thing you sh really shouldn't do is cram in keywords into um, your description here. Uh, what you need to do instead is having a good text, which you already have here. I just what just lose that one, and perfect. You know, mm. for all your keywords, you already have the text section, so um, no need to copy them, or repeat them here, right? Anyway, uh, do something that people can actually watch and uh, what you can do you, you see here in yellow marked all the parts of your target keywords that uh, that are repeating here um, try to formulate it in a way that um, you have uh, more consecu consecutive words of your target keywords uh, actually what uh, here we have some tips that help you while you type your descriptions for example, you don't have all words of your uh, uh, target keyword here in your description still. So uh, how to in this will you will learn why not how to gift get ideas how to gift Ferrero Rocher in a sweet way yeah for example let's human reason re readable youtube won't um panel uh, penalize you for stuffing keywords in your in your description and as you can see here uh, it's, it's hidden a little bit you have the full search term target keyword in your description even so perfect full score now let's uh, look for your tags and they already looked quite good yeah 33 percent of 40 you're already at a very high relevant point um let's see what what we have here how to give wrap box uh, not not to um I, I always be uh, uh look at uh, things uh, the tags need to be on topic. Uh, gift wrap in a, a box. Uh, that's certainly a different um, topic, so that doesn't uh, apply here. Uh, wrap a box games X in Warframes. Ah, it's it's not usable in this case, unfortunately. Um, gift Ferrero Rocher. Let's see if we have Ferrero Rocher gift box. That could be a a good target key, uh, good tag to add here. Um, Fair Rocher gift ideas. Yeah, there are a few you could add here at this point uh, to further increase your tags a little bit. It's a little bit harder to find something that is closely related to the search term, um, but uh, you get the idea, I guess. Uh, I hope. All right. Yeah, I think uh, even I didn't change much here. Um, you're already doing a good job at uh, optimizing your metadata. Good job. But again, make sure that you are using search terms that people commonly use. And by the way, if you don't have Morning Fame's keyword research tool, what you, what you see here, how to, yeah, this is the same search bar suggestions you have on your YouTube's search page as well. So use that to your advantage. What you see here, yeah, it are search terms people are commonly using. That's the best way to go to find something where you actually have the chance to get some views from. Um, that's the end goal, right? The main goal we have here. Uh, all right, I hope that this helped. Uh, a great DIY channel, by the way. Um, uh, extra tip, by the way, um, if you do something really neat, there is a R DIY subreddit, which allows you to post your own projects. Really big subreddit. You can get a lot of views from posting your videos there. Be a little bit careful about when to post, what to post, how often to post. Reddit can backfire, but the R DIY subreddit is encouraging you to post your own projects. So,
that was a Reddit uh, error. I, I couldn't post the, the link here for some reason. I don't know. Uh, R slash R DIY. Yeah, this reddit.com slash R slash DIY. <laughs> hi, hi, Jacket Media. Uh, yeah, indeed, uh, I designed them yesterday. I have to up my game as well. Mm. All right, let's go over to the next review. Please type in Morning Fame Review and I will draw another number here. Um, uh, Shiny, I'm sorry, uh, is I, I don't get many reviews done if I stretch yours out even longer. Uh, I'm sorry, but I hope this helped. Um, all right, in the meantime, any questions? <laughs> yeah, chocolate sponsor. <laughs> uh, by the way, I recently finished eating my two kilos chocolate. All right, many people want, okay, looks good. Let's draw another random number. The 18 was the last one. Let's hope we get an zero. Is that pop possible? <laughs> uh, let's do it again, 12. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Harley, you are the lucky one. Let's go ahead. Type you in here. And I saw a good question, which I want to answer. Um, Romo, Romolino. Uh, by the way, welcome. Um, important SEO question for streamers. Uh, should past live streams be non-listed to give more visibility to videos? How will watch time on streams after they were live affect my channel? Definitely make them public. Make them public. Um, uh, no question. They are huge help for your watch time. Um, keep them public. Uh, the only thing is that, um, of course, uh, for videos who, for, for people who watch the replay, it's sometimes uh, tough uh, because it's so long, no one wants to really watch the whole thing. Um, what I, for example, do oftentimes is that I post timestamps into the description. Um, with these reviews nowadays, I don't do it anymore because you can jump, just jump at any place and watch uh, whatever you want. Um, but um, if uh, uh, usually if I have a live stream, I um, uh, do something, uh, talk about something interesting quite in the beginning. Uh, and I want people to watch the replay at that point where I talk about what I have planned for the live stream. So they don't have to watch the... Uh, talking in the beginning where I say hi to everyone, for example, that's not interesting for people who watch the replay or the Q&A part in the end. Or in your case, if you play a game, for example, uh, it looks a little bit you play games from your avatar anyway, um, then you might have a very interesting section in, in your gameplay where you're close to winning the game or whatever. Um, so what, what I do is, in this case, uh, when I start my stream, I the first sentence I say to my replay watch people, um, look into the description, there is a timestamp. Um, that's the most interesting part, skip to that and enjoy. Uh, and then only after that, I say hi to all my live stream listeners. And uh, this way, um, people are really, I mean, uh, they, they start to understand, okay, it makes sense to even watch the replays of, of live streams. And then you can um, rake in uh, some more watch time from them even. So definitely keep it public. And uh, this small timestamps trick uh, will even help you yeah, to, to uh, make your live stream replay uh, useful for those people watching it. Um, all right, uh, let's go over to Harley. 
Oh, um, Harley, um, you are having, ah, you're, you're on a different house, your house of hacks, right? I loaded the wrong channel. House, how, how is house of hacks um, written oh, with spaces, right? Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> A midnight madness. Um, I think you can still put it to public, can't you? I, I don't know. Or is it then? I mean, uh, there's this little check to make a new uh, uh, replace unlisted, right? Um, so um, they are not deleted in any way. Um, okay, House of Hacks, here we go. Uh, nearly close to uh, 6,000 subscribers. Perfect. A small channel, but you already got very far. Here we go. Um, yeah, uh, tech building stuff here. <laughs> Bunsenbrenner. I don't know how it's called in, in, in English, actually. Um, this this burner here. Bunsenburner, maybe. Um, all right. Light with a studio. Uh, light measurer. Lighting. Oh, I really have to up my game with the lighting. Uh, my... <laughs> Uh, my light bulb went out today, so I had to improvise and all that stuff. Okay, nice. Um, actually, I should watch more videos of your channel. That's very intriguing. Um, all right, uh, let's let's go with this. Sequ sequential turn signals DIY. Is that how to design your own? What, what is this actually for turn and brake lights for your car? Does it? Is it for the car? <laughs> uh, you're clearly li living in the US, right? Uh, uh, in Germany, for example, that, that wouldn't be possible to tweak your lights in something that, that they flash or something when you break. There's very strict rules about the uh, uh, road safety. Mm. So we couldn't tweak, but that's a fun thing to do. Um, sequential turn lights, DIY. Hmm, that sounds interesting. You're already doing a really good game at, at SEO, I bet. Uh, after all, you are a great supporter in the early access group, by the way. Thank, uh, thanks for that. Sequential turn lights. Awesome. That's a search term. Quite competitive still, but you making it certainly up with subscribers. I mean, um, there's a big difference, right? Um, uh, by the way, um, uh, just for your information, what you see here, these four grades, yeah, the first three grades are about your channel authority. They, in combination, reflect your channel authority. Uh, channel authority being uh, how much YouTube trusts you that you produce great content and that it is willing to do promotion for you uh, to show your video to more people. Yeah, The more channel authority you have, the more trust YouTube has, the more promotion it does for you. Um, it is, it is um, not exactly your channel authority what you see here, the amount of subscribers, views, likes and comments, but it, it reflects it, yeah. Um, and um, so what you can say here, subscribers, what you have here, that reflects one important part of the channel authority. The channel authority itself is something YouTube has under the hood. It, it is not something that we can actually see. We can only see indications and these are the indications. Uh, but under the hood, uh, what creates your channel authority is in a large part your subscribers um, for the reason because, um, because uh, your subscribers are the first ones to watch your new videos. And YouTube 
went on record, actually uh, on record officially, <laughs> um, here we go, there is a scientific paper uh, written by YouTube which explains how the suggested videos algorithm works. Yeah, and we can assume that all the other algorithms like search and all that stuff work in a rather similar way. Is there, they have, I didn't mark it, so I can't show you the exact point in this paper. But there in this paper, we have an explicit statement that YouTube sees that your subscribers usually give YouTube the initial signals about how great your video is. YouTube wants to promote great videos. And the first people telling YouTube whether your video is great or not are your subscribers. And you know your subscribers are your biggest fans, right? So having a lot of subscribers here compared to your competition, many more even, knows that you can give YouTube a lot of signals good th signals that your video is great. Yeah? Of course, assuming that you do a video that you already know your subscribers will really enjoy. And of course, you have an understanding of what interests your subscribers have. So this certainly is a unique uh, thing uh, to say that, that we can say, okay, you don't have um, so many views as the other channels have and likes and comments or it's, it's in the same ballpark it's not too bad it's already an e but especially views like there's a big difference between the average in the search results and your channel usually so um, you have a good chance of making up this bad grade with this very great grade here for subscribers and let, let's see do you actually rank here house of cards i mean you have the chance but I mean, it's, it's, it's of course not a surefire. Mm. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, too bad, no, no, you didn't make it. Um, you actually have in your um, uh, title, DIY as well. Do, nah, DIY is not a, not a search term that is commonly used, it seems. Huh. Too bad, you have a better chance here and I bet you even rank. The chances are quite high. House of Cards. Let's see. Hmm, ah, too bad, even not here as well. Where are you? I saw you uh, ranked for sequential turn signals DIY. Did I turn? Oh, turn signals DIY, did I? Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I always did it wrong. Turn signals DIY. Here we go. Ah, here we have this perfect example. You have many more subscribers, as I ex explained before. You have also E's already. E's is much better than, than uh, an F, by the way, because, you know, here a little bit, a little secret. An E actually means that your statistic, your 20, 254 uh, views are better than at least one of the videos in the search results. That is what an E means. Uh, but it's still below the gateway video, so it's not a D. And I bet now you're ranking here. Perfect. Number six, that's that's exactly uh, um, yeah, how it works, right? You had a pretty good chance. It was really worth a shot and you succeeded. Good job, man. Um, let's see, by the way, um, sequential turn signals DIY. We have turn signals itself as a um, search term. Uh, it goes down a little bit. And do you even rank here? Let's see quickly. Ah, no, it's it's not too too far. But but look at look at that. Here, there's by the way this new, new comparison feature. Se sequential turn DIY is the one you actually targeted. Let's do it. Here we have both 
compared. Sequential turn signals and sequential turn signals DIY. That is the longer tail keywords you target, right? Very good example. You succeeded in so because you had good grades, the chances were high. You had a lot of rank opportunity to get your foot in the door through relevancy. You did it successfully. Uh, but the interesting part is um, sequential turn signals DIY also includes sequential turn signals. So the more your video gets authority, I mean, if it's really accumulating more views, more watch time, the more ranking power it will gain over time. And you're already quite close here for sequential turn signals to make it even for this term. You don't do it yet. You still have F grades here. So that already indicates that your chances are not, um, uh, not, not very high, uh, but you can still make it after month. Maybe who, who knows, uh, the more views it's accumulating, the grade might improve. And suddenly it starts ranking even for this search term. It's that's really a great targeting trick here, um, to look at the shorter ta uh, tail keyword as well. And as it sees here, you already have good chances, but to play it safe, you went with a little bit of a longer tail keyword with a chance to later even rank for the shorter tail keyword. Perfect, perfect. Um, and by the way, yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is really a nice comparison here. Uh, I built it for the reason because often if you are doing keyword research, you have a few search terms, keywords identified, and you, and you want to choose which one to target in the end. So you can compare it here and uh, um, yeah, decide which one to target for your video precisely. And the interesting part is you have show on Google Trends. And let's see if it has enough data. It's not always the case, but oh, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Um, you get the comparison between those two keywords right here in Google Trends. And as you can see here, this is of course the blue one is sequential turn signals. This has much more search traffic than sequential turn signals. Um, by the way, it shows zero for sequential turn signals here. Uh, it's not necessarily zero really zero. It's, it's just that uh, Google Trends itself doesn't have a lot of um, search traffic information about um, smaller search terms that have only a few search, uh, low search traffic. Um, the sequential turn signals itself, uh, the short term keyword, it already has some data. Um, um, sequential turn signals DIY basically um, flies below the radar in this case. But here you can even compare that and it might help your decision to what to choose here. So uh, fingers crossed, by the way, um, let's hope you actually succeed in uh, being very successful here, drive a lot of views and later then in a month or so, uh, even uh, rank here. And this one certainly will um, bring you many more views then. Um, so fingers crossed. All right. Uh, I would say, um, Harley, uh, you really have it down. Um, uh, all we have, we will see here in, um, in the optimized tab for the relevancy is that you're doing a kick-ass job. So, uh, let's just move on to the next, um, review. Uh, so I can cram in a few more takes longer than expected. So I hope to do uh, two more at least. So yeah, who wants the review? Here, morning fame review into the chats, please. Ingenious is the first one in the list. Awesome. So I'll do the next. I hope that helped, um, Harley. Uh, awesome, exactly your thought process of ranking for the DIY at the end first and then working your way up to the shorter tail keyword. Perfect strategy. Uh, I mean, fingers crossed you really make it in this in this case. Okay, um, let's draw a random number again. 12 was the last one. And it's 20. Okay. 
someone who is later in the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, we have only seventeen asking for it so we do round robin 18 19 20 sticker uh, oh, how, how do i pronounce your channel i'm sorry uh, st1ka it's your lucky turn by the way uh thanks for all your support you're one of my earliest beta testers sticker awesome I really appreciate you uh, sticking around so long uh, with my morning fame journey. All right, let's. All right, yeah, I, I will <laughs> empty the fridge after this live stream. I didn't have any breakfast. So yeah, Midnight Madness, uh, enjoy. Uh, sorry, ingenious. Yeah, that's that's the lottery here. Um, all right, uh, here we go for a sticker. Here we go. All right, a little more. You have roughly, uh, nearly exactly as many subscribers as I have. Perfect. Um, that's a great channel size. Um, but you have many more views, by the way, on your channel. Um, I have really a hard time to to rig in, rake in the views. All right, um, unboxing of retro games, right? Um, that was the purpose of your channel. Let's uh, quickly check here. Oh yeah, Hugo, Hugo, ah, oh, nostalgia, nostalgia is uh, creeping in. <laughs> I watched that on television so often, and I tried to call in and play it on television before we had computer games at home. Great time, great time. All right, these old games. I really like that on the iPad, by the way, uh, these new games published there are more in the flair of these old games nowadays. Mm. What's up, Rated Arius? Um, yeah, let's see, Rated uh, No tags? Ah. Uh, that's 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 a faux pas here on the in a, on the metadata review live stream. Um, all right. Ah, here here we have an interesting one. You are ranking for a lot of these tags and even many more. Um, um, you, uh, main morning frame was able to uncover. Um, uh, yeah, off grid SA got point. Uh, the review tool you see here. That's uh, 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 a specific tool for yeah for channels doing live reviews by the way check it media does it um, uh, rodney hunt does it so you can check out their channels as well uh, check it media is by the way in dutch so dutch people great channel check them out um, and uh, but but the morning fame you have is the same even better by the way the review tool is a lesser version of, of, of what you see in the morning fame uh, report. Just that in your morning fame report, it's, it's, it's in a uh, organized in a different way. What you see here, for example, is the report you get in, on, on the standard morning fame with the 24 hours email. So when you publish a new video, 24 hours later, you get an email and you will also get the exact analysis of which tags rank and additional tags search terms it it was able to uncover where you rank as well and yeah uh, this one is a really good one 350 views doing really great um stickers rec uh, retro corner alex kid in miracle world is i think uh, the name of the game you are reviewing here um let's 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 check that out uh, uh, anyway here we go. Alex Kid 
in Miracle World. Okay, here we have the name of the game. Perfect, a used search term, but yeah, um, too competitive still. I mean, you don't have to grow that much anymore in order to arrive at a point where you can even rank here. May, do we have the second, this case again, like we had for House of Cards, Harley, Harley's channel? You have Alex Kidd in Miracle World Review, Sega Master Systems. Let's see, Sega Master Systems is probably not... Oh, that's the search term people are using. Interesting, too competitive, oh my God. I didn't know that your niche is so competitive, obviously. Uh, here we go, review. Hmm. It's, it's already tough. But as you can see here, there's a difference between F and E's already. You have E's at least. That's it's too much of a gamble actually, but it seems like you ranking seventh here. Um, let's look here up. Yeah, you're ranking seventh here already. Perfect, perfect. I mean, you know, if I was you and researching this whole thing, E, 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 C would not have con mm, made me confident to actually try ranking for that. But obviously it's already uh, worth a shot and you successfully did so. It's place seven, perfect. So uh, you did that. Um, le let's. Uh, I see see some opportunities to optimize your data, metadata here. So let's go over to that. That's a great search term. Obviously, you already had worth a shot to rank here. So let's go with that, and um, let's take your title. Um, we have twenty seven percent of 40, 40 here. It's, uh, we can optimize that certainly, because first of all, um, you should always start with your target search term in the beginning. You have Stika's retro corner. Yeah, that, that's something uh, should, you should rather put at the end. Um, otherwise, YouTube thinks you want to rank for that one primarily. It, it's just how YouTube behaves here. Um, and that's also what the tips tell you, yeah? Uh, in your title, let YouTube is full. Oh, the, uh, it, the, the tip, first of all, the tip says you should use your full target keyword. And we chose to use world review. So what I would do here is I would put it at the beginning. So it's all in consecutive words, the full search term. That makes it more um, relevant for this target keyword. As you see, we have 55% here, and before that it was 50% only. So having that here is much better. And now the tip tells you, have the, to not co risk confusing YouTube, it's best to have any extra words, not before, but after your target keywords. And that is what, what I said here, yeah? Do it like this. Here we go. Same title, much more optimized for the machine, for YouTube. Um, it's an opportunity. Uh, this video is not too old, don't change it yet. I explained it in the beginning. Um, it's too risky to change that at that point. Um, so leave your metadata like this, but next time, um, yeah, order the content of your title like this. Let's see what about your description. Here we go. Perfect. 18% of 20. You already got it down. Here's the name. Uh, I think, uh, do you mention the word review even? You should use all words. You could somehow cram in review here. May, I mean, it makes sense, right? To, to get it. Uh, takes me too long to read everything now but uh, and to figure it out how to make it properly but you get the idea if you have review in here it goes even up a little bit even uh, makes sense uh, because it's a review why, why not mention that and now finally um, the 
tags. Let's go ahead here, put them in place. Oh, you are at 90%, perfect, already a D. A D only because the average of the other videos ranking for this search term is already very high. So it's, it's very tough to um, get a better grade. I think it's, a D is, is, is the maximum possible here. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe you can improve it a little bit. You have 36% of the tags. Maybe there are some better tags. Uh, music, is it? Uh, it's not, not related too much even. Uh, I in the Enchanted Castle, I mean that these are different uh, games, right? Um, probably. Uh, just for the sake of argument, I added that as well. Now we are in an uh, 37%. And so uh, I have would have to do a little bit more thinking what, what tags do um, uh, make, uh, make the most sense to be on topic. Because remember one thing, um, these uh, tags should explain YouTube the topic of your video. So never use tags that um, explain something that is not in the video, that not, is not about the video. Yeah? If in the en Enchanted Castle is, maybe it's a level in the game and you're talking about that level short, briefly as well, then it's okay to use that. But if it's a different Alex Kidd game, then uh, this would be off topic and would um, lead maybe people who are expecting a different game to your video and then they are um, unhappy about the video, make short watch times and that is bad for your video. So always uh, make sure you're using tags that actually are about the topic of your video. Um, but yeah, uh, you're doing a pretty good job here. Um, the title was the one thing that you could reorder a little bit to optimize it better for um, your for SEO. All right, um, let's let's quickly move in to the uh, next and final review. One happy person, type in morning fame review, and I'll draw another number. In the meantime, is there are some questions? Ingenious, the first one. Okay. Uh, Hashoshi, um, a great question about uh, suggested videos. Um, giving grades there is really tough. It, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm looking into um, finding ways to even provide that. But um, you have to see uh, suggested videos work really different from uh, everything else uh, especially search. Um, uh, in particular, you don't have a certain rank to achieve um, in suggested search because each and every user gets different videos as suggested depending on the user's interest, the, um, uh, the video the user currently sees and so on. So building a tool based on that uh, is really a different game. Yeah, it's really, I mean, but I'm, I'm investigating that and maybe in half a year or so I um, have found a way to do that. But I can't guarantee that, of course. Um, uh, but in any way, uh, the point is this. Um, you can do a little bit to, I mean, suggested is always included basically if you are optimizing for um, for search yeah if you optimize for search then you're already optimizing a little bit towards suggested as well let me explain that but first let's draw a random number 20 is the last one 25 is the next one one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry, five, fifteen. Um, fifteen. Rodney, unlimited saving. Uh, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, no double posts, please, 20, 1, 2, okay, round robin, um, 2, okay, Stan, it's your turn. All right. I'm happy that you got it because you asked me so often already. And now the lottery is on your lucky side. It's a food channel, by the way. Okay, let's continue with the last question about suggested videos um, and optimizing for that as well. Um, all right. Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, first of all, Brian G. Johnson recently did in his um, Patreon group, uh, did release some uh, new information about uh, how you can better optimize for suggested videos. Um, really, um, his Patreon is a cheap thing to join and really he has a ton of good information. And so for that reason only, um, but many more things he provides there as additional information, cus custom help for you guys, um, try it out. Uh, really, he will be helping you tremendously. Uh, I think some of you guys are in his Patreon right here who are currently um, in, in the chat. Um, let them know how great it is, really. And uh, I hope um, that he also can share with the Morning Fame uh, keyword tool users a little bit more about suggested videos. But in any way, the point is what you want to achieve in order to be successful in suggested video. First of all, you want to have channel authority. Yeah? Basically, your power to rank your videos. Uh, that you will automatically build up the more your channel grows. But also, uh, each video you upload, first of all, starts out with the average channel authority, but it may gain even more a channel, um, more authority as the individual video. Uh, because if you have a very high performing video that performs much better than any other video on your channel, then it has certainly more ranking power more authority in itself. Uh, I mean, there are some hits you land, right? And this authority will then first through search, that is easy to target, um, more clear how you go forward with that, with the SEO, right? Um, the more authority it gains, the video, the more likely it will be suggested in suggested videos as well. So basically ranking in search is your foot in the door to be successful in suggested video as well. Yeah? So think about doing SEO for ranking in search as being like the all in one solution, so to say, um, because the more you rank in search, the more you will get promoted throughout the other places, suggested videos, home and so on. Maybe even trending for, but that's most likely nothing uh, that small genders can achieve. But anyway, uh, there are many places where you can uh, get a lot of views. And um, yeah, uh, optimizing for search is the foot in the door. But also, what is important here is if you want to uh, rank in suggested videos, um, you want to make YouTube understand that your video is about a topic that is closely related to the topic of other videos um, who you want to get suggested for, right? It, it's relating, so, so um, in a sense. So um, 
so when uh, so so the idea is that um, help YouTube understand your video is related to other videos um, about the same topic. And what Morning Fame actually does under the hood already, um, if you hear, for example, the metadata I used for uh, my this live stream in particular, here how to optimize YouTube SEO videos and so on. Um, um, you know, this section here with the tags, I mean, I edited them a little bit, but Morning Fame creates many tags for you automatically. So you don't have to start from scratch. What it does in order to get those tags, it goes into the search results where I searched my target keyword, which I chose to use. And, and then I clicked here. Um, and uh, then it goes to the search results here and takes those tags, these videos in the search results have. Obviously, um, it didn't take those. I have more long tail keywords. Uh, video creators from long time ago did short tail as well. But how to rank YouTube videos. Um, this one not appearing as well. Brian G. Johnson does really great tags all the time as well. So many tags of those were chosen automatically for me from those videos. And by picking those tags here from the videos that already appear in the search results, this theory here is it helps YouTube understand that my video is related to those videos that are already ranking for this search term. Of course, I always have to make sure that those tags is it picked are relevant to the topic my video is focusing on. Yeah, never talk about in the tags about a topic that your video doesn't cover. That's a bad idea. But if it does cover it and is at the same time, at the same time, a tag that is also used by the videos here in the search results, then it is uh, more likely that YouTube understands your video is about the same topic as those other videos. And that um, should increase your chance to appear in suggested as well. But of course, that's only one factor. Uh, what I said in the beginning with the ranking authority for the video, that is very important uh, to have as well. One of the major ranking factors um, for suggested because suggested only kicks in when, when the video really has a lot of success, is resonating with the audience quite a lot, uh, then uh, YouTube starts picking it up in suggested as well. I hope uh, this, this makes sense. Um, all right, let's uh, go forward with Stan's um, channel, uh, the last review of today, where I hope we all can learn a lot. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, not a, not a cooking channel, a health channel. You do a lot of cooking, indeed but um, it's all about yeah cooking the right things and of course aerobics yeah i mean uh, everything that helps you um, with your health right hamstrad stretch a nice 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 fasting very good what is health what to eat you have a pizza piece here right i prefer that unfortunately over that uh, but um, yeah, uh, you, <laughs> your spaghetti hair is hilarious. All right, we all have a pretty good idea what your uh, channel is about, I bet. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead. Is soy bad? Intriguing, intriguing. I, I wonder. I mean, it sounds good. Is is it bad or or a good? Actually. Um, all right, um, let's uh, look it up here. Is, is soy bad for you? Is that a keyword that people are using? Interesting. Uh -huh. For men, uh -huh. for you, vegan. Uh -huh. Yeah, something quite impressive. All right. Uh, it's obviously really competitive. By the way, did you rank for that? 
is so uh, bad for you. You ranked even 22nd. Impressive. I mean, that's that's unfortunately uh, fortunate, fortunate, right? Uh, what we try to achieve, of course, is to rank in the top 10, at least top. Yeah, I mean, if we are um, honest, um, when when do we click on videos that are further down in the search results? I mean, really, the biggest pie of the search traffic is going to the first five videos, I would say. So ranking 22nd, obviously you optimized it really well for that topic, uh, but 22nd is basically no use, unfortunately, right? Uh, so that, that is the reason also why it's reflected here in the F grades. Um, basically having, uh, having D grades here means that you are better than the gateway video and the gateway video is always in the top 20 videos, like here, number 12 in this case. So uh, your channel performance is compared to this gateway video in this case, um, with the idea that uh, you wanna yeah, rank even better than the gateway video. And I try to choose a gateway video that is not too far down the uh, top list. Um, yeah. But but you uh, achieved, these are your channel tags, that's of course more easy to achieve. Is soy bad for you? Is, okay, I see. Um, let's see, can, can we find better keywords? Is soy bad for you vegan? Huh? You already have an E here, but it's still kind of... Uh, competitive Mayo Clinic Dr. X Oh, I see Man, you're Weight training It's it's a really competitive niche, I would say uh, Health, I mean, yeah Ah, here, here you can see here we have one search term that is certainly something where you could uh, you have a high chance to rank. Um, but yeah, health. Yeah, you, you are in a tough spot here. I mean, 622, it's not bad uh, for subscribers, but certainly a, a small channel still and a very competitive niche. So it takes some time to to find those keywords. And I know from you already told me uh, you have like 10 tabs open and trying to find all these different keywords and uh, honing that in. Um, quite tough, I understand. In this case, oh, the uh, connection just interrupted. Okay, uh, quite a tough, a tough in this case um, to, to get your foot in the door. Uh, in this case, by the way, uh, what also uh, I think is very important here, um, when you are having this issue, I mean, I explained, morning fam, I explained before, I just did a video how uh, you can find more keywords that have low competition, even if you're a small channel. This is this one here, which um, explains basically how to um, use those suggestions plus uh, in combination with the keyword tab, which gives you a new idea, but I know you're already doing that. Um, ah, what, what was the video that I was wanted to talk about? Um, here, here we go. This video, it's a, a little bit um, uh, longer ago that I did that two months ago, keyword research before or after. Um, uh, check that out. Uh, I basically discussed uh, when you should do keyword research. And in this case, if you did a video about is soy bad or good, and then do the keyword research afterwards, it's really tough to find a, a search term. And here now I, I, I'm happy to find that search term, right? Um, but now I have the issue, the uh, video is already created and I'm wondering, is that the right search term uh, to be used for that 
um, a video because do you talk about the Mayo Clinic? Uh, I guess that's a um, yeah. Anyway, um, do you talk about that? Is there a video about that? Could you use this search term? So um, doing keyword research beforehand, then the few keywords you are actually achieving to find where you have the chance to rank with good grades. Yeah, you can then create the video based on that. So if you didn't have produced the video yet, you can say, oh, okay, I, I didn't plan to talk about the Mayo Clinic, but I could easily, of course. So um, since that is a good uh, a target keyword to be using, then, okay, no, no problem. I'm doing a video about just that. Yeah. And that gives you more options than you do, than if you would do keyword research afterwards. And, um, uh, um, uh, then, uh, your choices are even more limited because, uh, you did the video and it's focused on a certain topic and not all the, of the few keywords you achieve achieving to find um, makes sense for your video. Um, uh, it was, uh, yes, then uh, don't change the metadata quite yet. Um, because, you know, it, it's re-triggering the algorithm and uh, you might make it even worse. Um, only if you really like this, this difference is really huge. You say like, is soy good or bad for you? Let's, let's have a look here. How does this look? Yeah, that, that's, that's unfortunately still not too competitive. So it would make no sense. I, I really would uh, look for something where you get D, 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 B at least, uh, only then it would make sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, that said, luckily you're ranking here. No. And, um, I would say in this case, see it like this. Uh, it's just a theory. Yeah. What, what I'm telling you, but, um, when we talk about channel authority, uh, it seems to be the case. I'm not sure what the exact cause is, whether that's the algorithm or your audience or both. But in any way, it seems to be the case that each channel has diff a different amount of channel authority for different topics. For example, I uh, experienced that firsthand. Uh, Dan from Creator Fundamental just became huge recently with banking on the topic with the uh, demonetization, the new 1000 subscribers, 4000 uh, hours watched uh, rule to get monetization back. And uh, he really was super successful with that. Um, was it actually that example? I think, uh, no, no, it, it was what not, not this example, but Actually, once before he was super successful with a different topic, I can just not remember. Uh, but in any way, I copied him because I knew it was successful for him and he is a YouTube advice channel as well. So my audience is most likely also interested in the same topic. And uh, this is certainly something um, that uh, I could do on my channel as well with the high chance to be successful in that as well. But it was not a particularly successful video for me. Dan, on the other hand, has really big success for, uh, on this topic. So he has a higher channel authority at that time, or both channels were about the same type, uh, size and um, than me. But on the other hand, when I was talking about the YouTube algorithm, my videos were much more successful than the, his videos on the algorithm. So the same, I talked to this with Brian G, for example, as well. And he's seeing that as well. Indications, uh, again, it's just a theory that you have different channel authority for different topics. So I think in this case, Stan, if you are doing this 
about a soil topic, um, you, you might not be that successful in ranking for those two keywords in search and you don't have immediate results based on that. But you're starting to build ranking authority, I would say, for this topic area. So the next time you do a video on soy, uh, you might have even uh, better chances um, to, uh, to, to rank for uh, these search terms. So it's, 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 it's not fully a lost cause in this case, but certainly uh, so a reason for keeping your metadata as it is. Um, I wouldn't change it for uh, more than that even uh, yet because you're resetting your your um, uh, the YouTube algorithm and maybe uh, you would lose out on uh, the way it works right now. So better keep it that way. But next time, um, yeah, it's really important here to focus on um, good grades in the first three grades as well, at least these. Of course, uh, it's always the case that relevancy is your friend and you can uh, make up bad grades for very high relevancy. And certainly by just looking at your tags here, uh, you're doing a really good job at uh, honing on, on, on high relevancy, I bet, uh, by not even looking at the, your metadata. Uh, you have a really high score here. You get an A, certainly. Um, but it doesn't make everything up for bad grades here. These three grades here reflect your channel authority. And that is what um, you, your ranking power makes up. Yeah? Um, if uh, the relevancy is basically telling YouTube, I want to rank here. That's the topic where I want to rank. Matching it up with what people then expect from your video so they really enjoy it. Uh, it's, that, that's unclear. Um, anyway, the relevancy tells where to rank. And if you told YouTube the right place to rank it, so people who watch it then at the right place, meaning the right search term, um, then it will also send good signals to YouTube and then you will successfully rank. But the how high you rank to begin with is comprised of your channel authority. So the first three grades are really important. Um, yeah, uh, to make it happen. Uh, all right. I hoped, uh, I hope this helped us then. Um, yeah, uh, keep it up. Uh, you're doing a kick ass job. Certainly there. Um, but yeah, of course, um, to start with the right keyword and to begin with is really important in this um, step. And of course, I really understand it's not easy for a small channel in a very competitive niche to find those keywords. Mm. It's yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, that's that's the reality. Uh, but the more you get your foot in the door, the more easier it will be to rank for the more common keywords even. Uh, so yeah, there's an upside for uh, working hard on um, improving the SEO game. All right, um, that's the last uh, review for today. Um, how about a last question I can answer? Uh, by the way, Joe, uh, that's that's a really good point. Um, uh, uh, interaction is really important. Um, you know, when we look here, yeah, uh, these grades, I chose all of them for a good reason. I picked them by intention. Likes and comments here. Yeah. Um, I mean, many people ask for likes, yeah? And um, this is a big game for many YouTubers because they hope the more likes they get, the more successful a video will be. Uh, but soon we all learn with the SEO, likes alone don't make your channel rank. Comments alone don't make your, uh, your, your video rank. Um, otherwise, yeah? Uh, it would be easy to game the system to make your video rank even though it's, it's, it's a bad video. 
YouTube uh, secures against that. Um, so likes and comments alone don't make your video rank. But having high engagement is caused by something. Yeah? If you are honestly getting the like in an honest way, yeah? if you're not gaming the system and the, guy, uh, the, the likes and the comments are true from true fans, yeah? then you have what it really takes for you to rank. True fans, that's, that's really the point. What I found out actually, uh, in order to build this tool, I reverse engineered the YouTube algorithm to see which factors make a video rank. I, did, I analyzed thousands of videos and so on. What I found actually is that likes and comments are the highest factors that indicate the strongest how high your video will rank. That's interesting, right? And the point here is not that the number alone will rank it, it's the fans you have behind them that make your video rank. Because having fans behind your channel who watch your video, who engage with you as a creator, they also give you high watch times. They also watch more videos. They keep coming back for every new videos. And all that I just listed yeah, are all the signals that YouTube takes in in order to build trust in your channel. Yeah? That's what builds your channel authority. The true fans that truly enjoy your videos. And likes and comments is a, a very good indication for that. And that's why it's here in the, in the tool as well. And as a small YouTuber, it's very important to build those, this fan base. Because only in this way you can find out what your audience enjoys, what kind of videos you need to create in order to please your audience. The, uh, as a small YouTuber, it's really your job to find the kind of videos, kinds of videos you need to do in order to get a larger audience. And the only thing you can do is build a small audience first and test out what they enjoy. Yeah? And the more you find out what kinds of videos, what, what types, what topics and all that they enjoy, the more likely you will nail it. And the more likely more people will enjoy it as well because you already created true fans. That's really important and really should be the main focus of a small channel, uh, especially uh, if you are still in the first few hundred subscribers. That's super important. All right. Uh, okay, um, I think we'll wrap it up for today. It was quite a long stream already. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, um, I don't know when I do this stream again. Um, I'm uh, not doing the regular schedule of uh, first Saturday each month anymore. It seems to me like I'll do it more often than once a month now. Uh, uh, I, I bet I will soon do a, another stream of this kind again. But uh, yeah, next Saturday, uh, first and foremost, back to regular programming. All right, uh, then uh, see you again on the next video or in the Morning Fame Early Access group on Twitter or via email. Just respond to any email you get from Morning Fame. I'm happy to talk to you. And yeah, thanks for all your uh, input and letting me review your channel. It was really a pleasure again. Uh, yeah, have a nice weekend and see you soon. Cheers, my friends.